Hey, what's up guys? John here. Many people know of BlackRock and Vanguard and a lot of these very large, large entities as powerhouses that essentially run and rule the world. But what many people don't realize is something huge is happening through BlackRock that I believe is going to have a monumental impact on 330 million Americans. Now, what is this? They're taking $4 trillion of U.S. capital from pension funds, retirement accounts. They're going to be investing it overseas due to the climate. Now, I'm going to show you what they're doing, how this is going to impact all of us, and the chain of events that are about to unfold in America. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube will share this content to educate other people about what's happening. And if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself, what I believe is going to be the greatest rug pull in American history, I'd love to help you. We'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for Monday. Take a look at this. BlackRock unveils path to unleashing $4 trillion investing boom, right? Bloomberg. This came out just a couple days ago. Researchers working inside a unit of BlackRock Inc. investment estimate that a reform of public financial institutions could free up as much as $4 trillion in additional investment to help emerging markets tackle the fallout of climate. In a paper published on Tuesday, the BlackRock Investment Institute laid out how it thinks a reform of multilateral development banks, MDBs, such as the World Bank, might allow them to make better use of the capital at their disposal. Doing so would play a key role in filling the so-called climate financing gap of emerging markets. So they're going to be taking U.S. capital and investing it in places like Nigeria and other markets, right? When you look at, a, you know, like for example, they mentioned World Bank. If you go here and you click on, you know, funders and partners and you scroll all the way to the bottom, World Bank's right there, right? And so what they are doing is in line perfectly with what is happening right now with BlackRock. The proposal comes just days before the COP28 climate summit gets underway in the UAE. BlackRock chief executive Larry Fink, who skipped the 2022 summit in Egypt, is on the year's COP advisory committee and will be joining the talks in person. Dubai, the world's largest asset manager, has identified the global transition to a low carbon economy as one of the five mega forces sweeping markets and economies. Everything is about to change because of this. Home insurance, bank lending, everything is going to be changing in the years to come due to climate. And people, investors, entrepreneurs need to be aware of this. I mean, look at this right here. It says, keep your mind open. In a speech delivered to world leaders on Friday, the UN Secretary General, Antonio Gutierrez, one unequivocally, in his call for the burning of fossil fuels to be stopped outright in order to prevent the worst effects of climate. We cannot save a burning planet with firehouse of fossil fuels. The 1.5% degree limit is only possible if we ultimately stop burning fuels, fossil fuels, not reduce, not abate, phase out, with a clear time frame aligned with 1.5 degrees. Not everyone is on board with this, right? So you start to look at the direction that we're going to be moving in. It is quite revealing. Look at what they're gonna be doing Soon, just with you know buildings, with I mean all of these, all of these major major anchors in our life: transportation, ports and shipping, urban planning and design, waste management, food systems. Everything is going to be changing because of this. And when you have BlackRock, they have 10 trillion AUM, 10 trillion assets under management. They're allocating four trillion to this. You have to realize how big this is going to be. I mean, they even put out a statement. But one thing that a lot of people I think don't realize is, look, Bank of International Settlements, in general, banks could influence borrowing firm stance towards environment through their credit allocation. I mean, look, banks with a portfolio titled towards firms could be negatively impacted, negatively affected by environmental policies, the impact of climate on the cost of bank loans. Banks are becoming increasingly sensitive to environmental issues. It's going to be harder to get certain loans for certain businesses. And that's why I think some businesses are going to boom, like solar, for example. How big is the solar energy industry? Report the global solar energy market size is worth about $90 billion in 2022 and is projected to grow to $200 and 15 billion in the next six years, right? Going from 90 to 215 by 2030, right? Compound annual growth of 11 and a half between 2023 and 2030. 
Now, I believe we're going to start seeing heat pumps and all these different, uh, you know, electrification methods for properties. You're going to start to see a lot of these new companies start to boom. Even Larry Ellis or Larry Fink came out saying that the future billionaires are not going to be the founders of social media platforms. There's not going to be people inside of that uh, social media landscape. It's going to be entities inside of the environmental space. Those people are going to be the ones that are going to be making the money, the big money going forward. And when you look at how big and how fast they're moving, it's quite clear that he's probably right. At BlackRock, we believe that climate risk is the is an investment risk, and we strive to help our clients make the most informed choices to improve their investment outcomes. We believe investors and issuers that make forward facing positions with respect to climate risk and its implications for the energy transition will generate better long-term financial outcomes, climate risk, and the economic opportunities from the transition are a top concern for our clients that a rapidly growing share have already committed to net zero line portfolios. Because of an orderly transition to net zero by 2050 would benefit the global economy and our clients in aggregate, we believe that by 2030, all issuers would benefit from developing and implementing robust transition plans. However, the Russian invasion of Ukraine is a stark reminder of the challenges of just and orderly energy transition. These events may drive short-term increases in demand for fossil fuels and associated emissions in regions, while potentially accelerating the investments in renewable energy. So when you start to look at this, that's what we're gonna be walking into right here. Currently, approximately 25% of BlackRock's assets under management, AUM, with respect to corporate and sovereign issuers, is invested for clients in issuers with science-based targets or equivalent at the transition proceeds and issuers and asset owners continue to position themselves in front of it. We anticipate that by 2030, at least 75% of BlackRock's corporate and sovereign assets managed on behalf of clients will be invested in issuers of science-based targets or equivalent. Now, really interesting. I was reading a, a book maybe six months ago from the founder of Carlisle, and his name is David Rubenstein. And he asked all of the, and the book is essentially a collection of interviews that he's interviewing all these other billionaires and you know hedge fund managers. And he asked every single one the same question. What are your thoughts on the future of asset prices due to climate? And they all basically said that everything's gonna soon get repriced. So when you start to look at this, it's cheaper to insure brand new homes. It's cheaper to buy brand new homes today than older homes. It's gonna be more expensive to fix older homes than a newer home. It's gonna be easier to get funding and financing, I believe, on newer homes than on older homes going forward. There's gonna be so many changes coming to the financial system that people, I think, aren't really fully aware of it. I believe soon it's gonna be a lot cheaper to finance electric vehicles than it's going to be to finance a combustion engine. All of these things are gonna be happening very, very, very quickly. And the smart entrepreneurs, the smart investors, smart Americans aware, they're aware of exactly what's going on. And they're positioning themselves in a business that's gonna allow them to move and pivot and capitalize on these trends. Whether you agree with it or disagree with it, what's happening is what's happening. This is where we're going as a country, as a world. And I believe with this, if you do position yourself correctly, maybe, you know, I think people in solar are gonna do extremely well. Um, but if you position yourself in a growing industry right now, you're going to have a lot more opportunities. I think then, let's say, for example, somebody in you know, a sector where it's going to be harder to get funding, it's going to be harder to get financing, you're going to have a harder time getting larger corporate accounts. Things are going to get harder and harder and harder over the years. It's going to be an uphill battle, right? So when you see what, Bla what BlackRock is doing, this is a major, major power grab. It's a major you know, power move. Because when you look at this, they're gonna be putting all this capital in all these underfunded countries where otherwise they would have to get, you know, they have to probably spend 20, 30% interest rates, pretty crazy interest rates over there. But when they're able to take capital here and go allocate it over there, they're able to buy, you know, land, infrastructure, able to do all these different things. They're able to do it with cheap money, right? So this is what's going on. 100% this is what's going to happen in the future. Position yourself accordingly. Drop below. Let's have a conversation about this. 
Uh, I mean, this is pretty crazy how fast this whole thing's moving. If you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for what I think is going to be the greatest wealth transfer in American history, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com, click the link in the description, just below this video, schedule a free strategy session. Catch you in the next video.